Hey, what's up you guys? How are we? It's Jacob here and welcome back. Welcome back to another reaction video. Today I'm pretty excited about it. And one thing I do want to say is that I'm fucking digging. I'm absolutely digging this look of a, an NFL jersey over the top of a hoodie. Like, I fucking love it. I may even start wearing these out, but I'm not sure. What we're doing today is we're cracking back into the top 100 NFL players of 2020 list. Now this series covers their performance throughout the 2019 season, which can be confusing, but it's my fault because I've taken five or six months to actually get these videos done. But when I say I'm gonna do something, I do it, and that's exactly what we're gonna do today. Dak Prescott is a name that I've heard thrown around this year, especially. I think he was on target to get like 6,000 uh, passing yards, but he did have a clean break of his ankle, or maybe it was his, his lower leg. Either way, we don't wanna see that, but what we do wanna see is how he went last year. He's number 46 on the list. He's the quarterback for the Cowboys. I'm reffing the Cowboys. I haven't seen him before. I literally, like this is one player, very surprising that I haven't watched him before. But I've done it on purpose because I knew he'd be on this list and I knew this would be the opportunity to do it. So with that being said, let's get into it. Next step, that's the only thing that matters. How we get better today? How we take the next step? That's the first time I've ever heard him say a word. He looks big. You know, if I, if I, I've said, look, he looks like he could probably play running back. I'm thinking, without having looked at any of his stats, I'm thinking, what, six two and a half, six three, at least 100 kg. I'm gonna say six two and a half and 103 kilograms, or about 226 pounds. Let's have a look. Six two and 107 kg. He's definitely sizable. Look at him. Look at him. He looks like a fucking linebacker. In fact, if you didn't, if he does not look like a quarterback, does he? Is that the reason why he's so popular? Because he runs like a running back or tackles like a linebacker? Because he certainly looks like both of those. He's been a cowboy his whole entire career. He's currently injured, like we said. He played four years at Mississippi State, which is surprising because of the fact, holy shit, he's definitely a running quarterback and if that's the case oh my god guys if he runs from the pocket effectively he may be one of my favorite players he's got a 479 40 yard dash 32 and a half inches on the vertical jump nine foot eight in the broad jump so I'm not gonna say he's he's you know impressively athletic but we're about to see how all these stats transition over into the game um, he got selected in the fourth round with the 135th pick overall. Hmm. And he wears number four because, okay, so it reads here, he wore number 15 throughout college. When he got drafted as a rookie to the Cowboys, he got given number 10 because Devin Street, the wide receiver, occupied his number 15. And during the first week of rookie minicamp, it seems like he gave his number 15 away completely because he decided to switch to number four in honor of his mother, whose birthday is on September the 4th. He is the first Dallas Cowboys quarterback in history to wear number four. Let's look at his stats. Last year, oh my god, holy fucking shit. He passed for 4,902 yards last year. 30 passing touchdowns. Got sacked 23 times. Completed 388 passes. He finished the 2019 NFL season having played 16 games with a record of 8-8. Eight and eight and a quarterback passer rating of 99.7. Okay, let's go. Going into a contract year, keep putting on yourself. Hang on, what was his 40? 4-7, 4 seven. Four, seven, nine. okay. Yeah, he's gonna show that no, he can be a franchise quarterback. He can be one of the top quarterbacks in the league. Watch them come together. Well, that looked like Leonard Fournette. A contract year, keep putting on himself. Yeah, he's gonna show that no, he can be a franchise quarterback. He can be one of the top quarterbacks in the league. Watch them come together. Take the next step. Oh, spicy nuggets are back. I'm gonna have to stop on the way home. Dak Prescott. Spicy Nuggets are back, and so is Dak Prescott on the top 100. I just gave you chills, look! 5,000 passing yards. the countdown at number 14 back in 2017, but it was only for a limited time. He was left off the list the past two years. When you see that list the come fuck? up, there's 100 guys. When you're not getting it, they like to find. 
one of the biggest compliments is from up here. So it's also, I guess you can take that the other way, as if when you're not getting it, it should motivate you, and it should motivate anybody. Okay, that's really interesting. In some of these videos, we don't hear the actual player talking, but we've heard him now, I like that. The omission sent I'm, I'm not quite sure what I think. He didn't affect me in any particular way. Let's go on a mission. Oh, I like that. There's not many quarterbacks you'll see throwing someone into the ground like that. He's a pro. He's our leader. He's running the show. We only stop ourselves. Let's get off our own feet and make something happen. I wouldn't rather fall in here any other person. I wonder, actually, I want to see if he played any other position. Dak was the youngest of Peggy Prescott's three children. As a senior, he was playing quarterback. He also rushed for 951 yards on 90 attempts with 17 touchdowns. So he was a running, rushing, dynamic quarterback. And uh, the number four that he's currently wearing in the NFL was a tribute to his mum, whose birthday was on September the 4th, but had colon cancer and died on November the 3rd, 2013. So his career, every time he puts on that, that jersey, uh, he's thinking about his mum. Prescott was red-shirted as a true freshman with Mississippi State in 2011. He began as the backup to Russell again in 2013. Okay, so he had a decent, he had a fairly decent college career, but he he certainly didn't come out as any Heisman Trophy, you know, contender or anything like that. It seems. So he's had to work his way up. He's back in the top 100 after two years off. developed into a great football player. He must have a fantastic offensive line, right? This year. Going against him the past four years, you see the development each year and the command he has of the offense. I saw more command of his offense. Hey, you go, hey, you have 15 fives to 40. Go to 49, boss. Just go to the right. You have five low that way. Five low, you're good. I'm with 24, plus another, you're good. <laughs> Fucking hell, holy shit, bro. shit, bro. What? Okay, I lost that one. Defense. Giving checks to Lyman. Hey, Cores over there. Cores left. Mickle up. Mickle up. Mickle up. We're hiding. If, if fight finish. Byb faith. Hiding. He's right. Fight. If fight finish. Is that what it says? Hiding the show. We're hiding. Huh? Mickle up. Mickle up. Mickle up. We're hiding. Hiding. He's running the show. We're hiding. We're hiding. Hey, we're going to go to Utah. You're kind of playing a cat and mouse game. Cause I knew what he was trying to do, but I didn't know exactly how he was going to do it. Let's go Blizzard right here. Blizzard, don't move. Don't worry about it. Blizzard, I'm going to give him a couple. So I walked down and he had changed it. What are you doing? What are you So I walked back. He changed again. Hey, we're going to go. Let's go. Uh, let's go. Hey, Bahamas. 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 Swing. Just swing. 55. LA, LA. You kind of play. Jesus Christ. These quarterbacks really need to be onto it, don't they? I mean, they need to be sharp. Wait for a few seconds. Oh, no, I checked the ball. He just ran opposite way. And uh, I remember he just winked at me. But like, yeah, that was a good one. And he's definitely becoming one of the best quarterbacks in the league. Coach. In year four, number four shattered his previous career highs in passing yards and touchdowns. At first, everybody was telling Dak to prove it, prove it, prove it. And he's been proving he can be the QB1 for the Dallas Cowboys. Now the Cowboys have a massive fan base, don't they? Like, ridiculously huge. Oh no, let's go... Let's go most valuable sporting franchises. And I, I guarantee the Dallas Cowboys got to be up there. They have to be. What do we got here? Oh my god, they're number two on the list. You're kidding! Real Madrid, Dallas Cowboys... Oh no, that's 2015. Um, let's go most valuable sporting... The Dallas Cowboys have been the most valuable sports team for the last four years straight. In, t in 2016 it was 4 billion, 2017 4.2 billion, 2018 4.8 billion, and 2019 5 billion dollars. 5 billion dollars. Biggest NFL team stadiums. Here we go. Uh, value as of 2017. 
there we go. Dallas Cowboys, Yankees, United, Barcelona, Madrid, Patriots. So the Dallas Cowboys are the richest sporting franchise in the world. And Dak Prescott is their QB1. Prescott returns to the list at number oh, yeah. four. Oh <laughs> yeah, he's done that dancing thing. That was a meme, wasn't it? Six. But his pregame stretch routine is clearly number one. Elliot doing his impression of the Prescott hip swivel. Wouldn't rather fall any other, any other person in a battle. It's a dance step to sweep in the nation. I want to get a sack so bad because I want to do, I want to do this. What, the Dak Shuffle? Oh my god, we've got JJ Watt. Look at him. He's six foot eight. Okay. He is a man mountain. And he's number 45 on the list. Guys, that's that's going to be enough for today. I could go deeper on Dak Prescott, uh, but I feel like... I feel like that's going to be another video. Because I want to have a look at his college highlights, then I want to have a look at his NFL highlights. And we've got plenty of time because he is injured right now, right? Yes. Yes, he is. So... Before I do that, I've got 46 more players to do. I'm sitting here in Queenstown, in New Zealand. The date is the 22nd of December. It's 9.33 in the morning, and it's about time I go to the gym. So that's what I'm gonna do. I wanna wish you guys a fantastic Christmas, a fantastic New Year. Any Dallas Cowboys fans out there that enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. Any Dak Prescott fans out there that enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. And if you wanna stick around for any length of time, please hit that subscribe button. And if you wanna know when any of my videos go up, hit that bell button. It's probably gonna be the only time I tell you to do that. In fact, I might cut that bit out. Okay guys. That's about enough of that. I've literally done this outro probably about five or six times. I cannot seem to get the words out of my mouth. I don't want to go. I don't, but I have to take a break. It's 9.30 in the morning. I need to get to the gym, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out, guys. Have a great day.